based on the math we use in the plumbing field. The math we use day in and day out is easy to recall, but the math we seldom use, not so easy. This is a simple math we use frequently, length and width measurements. The conversions to square feet, which is the length multiplied by the width, each square foot contains 144 square inches, and to cubic feet, which is length multiplied by the width, then multiplied by the height or the depth, containing 1,728 cubic inches, and to cubic yards, which is the length by the width by the height, divided by 27 is simple, except when your measurements include feet and inches. This segment is a method of converting inches into a decimal of a foot. This area is 9 feet 5 inches long, 10 feet 2 inches wide, and 7 inches deep. To multiply feet and inches, you must either change the feet into inches or change the inches into a decimal of a foot. Changing inches into a decimal is accomplished by dividing the number of inches by 12. Notice the 9 feet 5 inches. 5 inches divided by 12 equals 0.417 of a foot. The same for 10 feet 2 inches. 2 inches is divided by 12 equals 0.167 of a foot. And 7 inches divided by 12 equals 0.583 of a foot. When changing a decimal of a foot into inches, simply reverse the process by multiplying the decimal by 12. The problem is now easy. Length times width times depth equals 55.82 cubic feet. A cubic yard contains 27 cubic feet, which is a cube 3 feet wide by 3 feet tall by 3 feet deep. Dividing the total cubic feet, 55.82, by 27 cubic feet gives us 2.1 cubic yards. This is another constant, the weight of water per square inch. A 1 inch square tube of water, 1 foot in height, equals 0.433 psi. Add another foot of water onto the tube and it has a pound per square inch reading of 0.866 psi. Add another foot and the reading goes up another 0.433 to 1.3 psi. Just to reinforce the pound per square inch illustration, calculate the PSI at the bottom of a 4 inch diameter pipe that is 60 feet high. Multiply the height, 60 feet, by 0.433 and the PSI is 26. The width of the tube or the diameter of the pipe has no effect on the PSI. Only the height will change the PSI, the pounds per square inch reading. Here are some facts that many code books do not contain. Notating them in your code book is highly recommended. One gallon of anything is 231 cubic inches. One gallon of water weighs 8.33 pounds. Each vertical foot of water exerts 0.433 psi, pounds per square inch. The constant for a diagonal of a right triangle with a 45 degree angle is 1.414 times the length of one side. And the constant for the offset of a right triangle with a 22 and one half degree angle is 0.414 times the measurement of the run.